Hi, I'm Ellen from Ellen O'Brien, and today I'll be teaching Blackpink's Shutdown. Keep in mind that this video is mirrored, and feel free to change up the speed of this video using the settings. Don't forget to stretch before you begin dancing, and make sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's start! So the rhythm of this song goes like one and a two and a three and a... So that's how I'll be counting, okay? So we're gonna start on count one. I'll start with the feet first. You're gonna take a step out with your right foot, and then you can take another step in place with your left foot, and you're gonna bring your right foot back. And then take a step out with your left foot, step in place with your right, and step back with your left, okay? So it goes right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, one more time. One and uh, two and da. Uh. Okay, and now let's add a little bit more groove to that. So when you step out, try to put out more body weight. Step out and then step back and step out and step back. Now let's add the upper body. So on one, when you step out with our right foot, we're gonna bring up our arms. So your left arm is completely straight and facing the front and your hand is in a fist. While your right arm, you're gonna bring it up and hit it like that, okay? So from the side view, it looks like that, looks like that, and this is the front view. So it goes one and a two. On two, we're now bringing up our arms from the left side and hitting it like this. So both hands are still in fist and we're hitting it like that and then putting it back down, okay? So it goes one and a, two and a. Okay, moving on, on three, we're gonna step out with our right foot right in front like that. Our left hand is gonna keep it here and our right hand's gonna point outwards. So you're having just your index finger out, pointing outwards and you're gonna swirl, twirl, and then it becomes an open hand and drop. Okay, so that's a three and a, four and a. So on three, it's mainly just the hand. You point it out, twirl, and then on four, you like shut it down, okay? So as you bring down this right arm, you also sit down with your hip going towards your right side, which is actually facing the front right now. So you're gonna sit down, bend your knees a little bit, and have your arm shut it down like that. Break your wrist, okay? So it goes four, and uh. On the and uh, just have your head go up, down. One more time from the top. Five, six, seven, and a, eight, and a, one, and a, two, and a, three, and a, four, and a. For five and six, we're gonna repeat the footwork that we did earlier. So it's a right, left, right, left, right, left, okay? So exact same footwork, but the upper body is different this time. So here on four and a, we're gonna go five and a, six and a. So this time, you're bringing up your arms like this, twirling your wrists as if you're like splashing a little bit of water inside. So it goes splash, splash. So it doesn't have to be super strong or anything. So you just go with the flow. Five and uh, six and, uh, okay? And at the end of the six and, uh, make sure we have our left foot step out just a little bit for the next move. So I'll demonstrate that. It goes five and uh, six and, uh, on seven, take a bigger step out with our right leg. At the same time, have both right hands go up, rotate your wrist, and drop. Okay, so this is on seven and a eight. On eight, bring down both of your hands and then sit towards your left hip and then bend your knees a little bit more. So it goes seven and a eight. You can also tilt your head towards the left side. Okay, seven and a eight. Moving on to the second A count. So this is when they sing whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Okay, so we're here on seven and uh, eight and uh. On the uh, bring both of your hands in. This is a prep move. So you cross your hands and your left one is in front of your right hand, okay? So this is on eight and uh. I'll teach the upper body first. You go whip it, whip it, whip it. So when you here, the first whip it is when you have both of your hands go out like that. Remember to break your wrists and have your arms straight. And then slowly bring them up as you do like a shimmy shoulder move. So you go whip it, whip it, whip it. At the same time for our body. So we're here on 
eight and a uh, whip it, whip it, whip it. So we're gonna shift our weight completely towards the right side, and we're gonna, since we're like doing this little shimmy, your hip can also move a little bit and also bring up your body like that. So here on eight and a uh, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. On the next whip it, we wanna completely switch your weight again, switch the sides, so have your hip go from the right side towards the left side, head also tilt from right to left, and if you want, you can also do like a hair flip to the other side, so it looks like this. A and uh, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. So when you put it down, make sure you straighten your arms again, but still have your broken wrist like that, okay? So that was A and uh, one and uh, two. And they're gonna repeat this, however this time, have your right hand come to your head and you're gonna initiate it. So it's like pulling your head that way, okay? So it goes, and a uh, three and a uh, four. Okay, if you do it all together, it looks like this. Eight and a uh, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. And whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Moving on, we're gonna take two steps, right, left. So you just drop your arms, and then as you take right, left, your left arm is gonna come up and go right and towards the bottom left corner. So it goes up and down like that, okay? This is on counts five and uh, six and uh. And then on seven, eight is when they switch formations, like front, back, so feel free to use these two steps to just walk and walk. And you do some gestures like sun down, like that, or both hands, okay? So it goes five and uh, six and uh, free, free, or just walk or do whatever you want. Moving on to the second half of the chorus. After we go walk, walk, now we're gonna do a body roll. So you're gonna have your left foot come up like this and this, okay? So as you pick up your left knee, you're doing a slight body roll from here to here. Body roll, body roll. Okay, that's gonna be on counts one and uh, two. And for the hands, we're gonna flick your hands out like that on the previous eight and duh. So that's a prep move. You know how we were going like freestyle, freestyle prep. And then you go zoom. So after you prep this move, you're pulling backwards. So this is the side profile view. So both hands are in the fist and you pull, okay? So A and uh, one and uh, two and. Uh. So on one is just pulling and then on two, you go up like that, okay? So have both index fingers out and point upwards and slowly go up as you're doing the body roll, okay? So we're here on seven and uh, eight and uh, one and uh, two and. Uh. Here, step out with your right leg and have your hands point towards opposite direction. So your right hand going to your upper left corner while your left hand is pointing towards your bottom right corner, okay? So this is on three and up. So imagine yourself being like a clock and you're like tick, tick, tick. Throughout these few moves, also make sure your head is tilted towards the left. Okay, so we go and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and up. And then on four, you're gonna clap. So bring both of your hands towards the front. At the same time, shift your weight towards your right side a little bit and bend your knees. After you clap, open up again, okay? So it goes three and uh, clap and. Uh, and then as you bring down this left arm, your right arm comes up like this, and body roll this way. So this time, you hit like a platform here, imagine there's a table, you're like, bam! And that initiates a little chest roll where you're facing the right corner, and then you're like, body roll! Okay, so this is gonna be on counts three and uh, four and uh, five and uh, six. Six is when they sing something about like locking the door. So you stick out your hand as if you have a key to the door right in front of you. And then you lock it and you turn it back. Okay, so this is six and up. So make sure your right hand still stays here and continue the body wave. So it goes five and up, six and up. And then on seven, you're gonna whoo. So you're throwing everything away by straightening 
your left arm. It's already straight, but extend your um, fist out. And then you're going to clap and slam it that way. At the same time, kick up your right leg, OK? And you can kick it up this way or like this way, however you're comfortable with. But the main point is just like, I'm shutting it down. You go seven and a, uh, eight and a. Uh. On eight, you're like, pia. You're slamming something onto the floor. You don't actually have to touch the floor, but just pretend, yeah. You're like, seven and a, uh, eight and a. Uh. So put a little bit of force in those two moves. You're like shutting it down, shutting it down, OK? So after we go, Seven and uh, eight and up. Uh. We're on to our very last eight count, almost there. And here's where we did something similar earlier. This is when they sing the whip it, whip it, whip it again. So we're here on seven and uh, eight and up. Uh. Take a step forward with your left foot, okay? So we just ended here on eight and uh, on one step forward with your left foot. At the same time, we're going to do the whip it, whip it, whip it, but this is the opposite direction as earlier. Because earlier, we're going to the right and left, right and left, right? Now, we're going to the left and right, left and right. However, we are now having a different body orientation, so we're doing this move facing your right side, okay? While you still look to the front. So, we ended here on eight and uh, and we're now going to go whip it, whip it, whip it. From the side, I look like this. My weight is on my left, okay? So, we go... Whip it, whip it, whip it. And then you go to the other side, OK? This is the side profile again. But let's say this. So your hip is going to the left and right. And then now we're going to flip our head to the left and right. If I were to do those moves facing forward, this is what it looks like. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. And head and head, OK? But keep in mind that we're facing the right side, OK? So it goes. One and a two, three and a four. And now we're going to do five and a six. So this is also similar as before, but it's opposite. So take a step with your left and then with your right. For the arms, it goes up and down like that, OK? So we end it here, I'll whip it, whip it, whip it. Five and a six and a seven and a. On the seven and a, Bring your right hand out with the thumb and index finger out. So it goes seven and a eight. So on eight, you drop it and you kind of sit down with a little bit more weight. You can also bounce once or twice if you want. So it goes seven and a eight and. A. And that's the end of the chorus. Yay! Now we're going to review everything from the top to the end of the chorus with slow counts and then 75% speed music and then full speed music. Five and uh, six and uh, seven and uh, eight and uh, one and uh, two and three and uh, four and five and six and seven and uh, eight and one and uh, two and three and uh, four and Five and uh, six and seven and uh, eight and one and uh, two and three and uh, four and five and uh, six and seven and uh, eight and one and uh, two and three and uh, four five and uh, six and uh, seven and uh, eight. Vroom, 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 vroom. When we pull up, you know it's a shutdown. Dum, dum, Hope you all had fun. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.